Hey down please, it's Dave Desai, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to get into a Jungkook's neck tattoo that was speculated in a Permission to Dance music video, and now we have a real answer, I believe. I also want to get into Billie Eilish's comments when people booed at BTS. I think it was very interesting, and I think she did a good job at addressing everything. So grab your dumpling, a tea spilling mug merch, and let's get into the tea. If you are new here and you're interested in this type of stuff, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified anytime a new video drops. Any of you that hate or like to be first of your hate comment, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell also so you can be first to do so. Now let's jump into it. The first thing I want to talk about today is this neck tattoo that everyone is talking about with Junko. If you aren't aware, I'm not even sure how, but Permission to Dance just came out and people really seem to like it. And I'll get into some of the mixed reviews in a bit online. But the music video was gorgeous and like the usual Jungkook fashion that we see, he wears a lot of accessories. He likes to wear these big chains and oversized necklaces. Or maybe he's forced to, I don't know. But I love it. It suits him. In the music video, the scene and the accessory that was talked about the most was his horseshoe necklace that he wore in this scene where he did the best spin I've ever seen in my life. Now there was a screen grab that seemed to have gone viral online and people talking about this photo while Jungkook is in motion and making it appear like Jungkook has a neck tattoo. Now I like to give people the benefit of the doubt. We don't really see Jungkook's side profile too much I believe in the video. So in this moment where we see it quote unquote more clearly it's easy to think oh it's a tattoo and we haven't seen it yet. And the way it looks so flat in the picture it definitely looks like it could be. I also do think it's possible people who were screen grabbing this and trying to make it appear like a tattoo were doing it to get the music video more streams because then you're definitely going to go into the music video to try and find this accessory to see if it's there and these moments pass by fast so you gotta get your pause game ready armies really be going frame by frame huh i love it now quickly these theories start to get debunked online because once you say something other armies will go frame by frame and hyper analyze things too to make sure it's real or not we of course don't want to let people know the wrong thing but also we die every time Jungkook does anything when he does anything literally he was just there breathing and we'd be like how could you do that to us you're trying to kill us and honestly I agree how dare he some people continue to look through the video but there was also apparently some behind the scenes footage that had come out of BTS on set as well as selfies concept photos and everything that does not show the neck tattoo however is it strange to think that Jungkook has a neck tattoo probably not because he loves tattoos he recently got what we believed to be an eyebrow piercing. So is he the type who is more likely to get a neck tattoo and kill us all? Absolutely. But then some armies pointed out that it was Jungkook in motion and the necklace probably just moved back given that it looks heavy and probably can swing quite a bit as he is dancing. Which is concerning because I hope he didn't hit himself with it. But they were saying how the necklace was swinging and it made it appear like there was that necklace design on his neck. And people pieced it together to show that Jungkook might have a tattoo on his neck. But I do think at this point we can definitely see that there is nothing nothing actually there and it was simply the necklace or perhaps a shadow of the necklace that was reflected on his neck. There. People were freaking out about this saying this on the tweetster. What? Jungkook with a tattoo on his neck? First of all if it was true and that's hot it looks like such a hot design for him and it looks so bad boy. I can't stand it. But also I don't understand how the necklace can move that much. Like it's practically behind him. Maybe it does that when you dance I have no idea or maybe it's actually a lot lighter than I thought or does that even matter? But I don't think it's a real tattoo I do think it's the necklace. However what is funny is that with the eyebrow piercing we weren't sure if it's real or not at first and Jungkook showed us it was then Jungkook showed us it was just crystals glued onto his eyebrow and then suddenly he appears with balls on his eyebrows and we all definitely think it's real now during a recent LV promo video we saw the side profile of the eyebrow piercing that it looked like something was pierced into his skin and it could be real now if it is real since he hasn't confirmed it yet but I am 99% sure it is real but I think if instead of doing the piercing right from the start he did the crystal thing to gauge the reaction of army so he probably was looking online to see what people thought and people mostly loved it. In fact, I did not see anyone call it ugly. Now I wonder if Jungkook is going online to see the reaction of the quote unquote tattoo and now being like, wait, that'll look hot and then consider actually murdering us. And it's very unlikely for Jungkook to get any tattoos, like maybe shoulder and up. Those are going to be difficult to cover in Korean broadcast. He can do makeup, but obviously I think the reason the people choose bandages over applying makeup is maybe because it'll sweat off or they're scared it will, or maybe the tattoo would pierce through. So they choose a method that for sure covers it and I think it would be difficult for Jungkook to cover a neck tattoo on broadcasts. I see them doing American music for a long time in which he does not have to cover tattoos but he probably wants to keep the option of being able to go back into the Korean market in the future. After all BTS is going to make amazing music no matter what market they choose. The permission to dance music video was beautiful and so meaningful. For the most part I have seen some mixed reviews online. Some people have said it was boring. Some people say that BTS can make better music than this and I'm bringing this up because 
because this can all play into the hate that BTS gets here in America. Now, now while I don't agree with all this, to me, Permission to Dance is by far their best song. I just love the melody. It's catchy to me and just classic pop. But I think because it's classic pop music, a lot of newer fans who have never heard of BTS and are getting their first listen to BTS are hearing this stuff and thinking, oh, they're just some random pop artist that gets a lot of hype. And that's painful to hear. While the song is good in my opinion, BTS has choreography that is arguably better than the one in Permission to Dance video, right? Like previously, they have had music with deeper meaning behind it, which is just beautiful. But not every song needs to have a deeper meaning, especially with the year we had. I want more fun songs, but I digress. But I think because of this, newer fans don't understand BTS and BTS's journey. BTS has been around for a long time and longer than a lot of Western artists that are trendy right now. They have a huge discography and a list of music you can listen to no matter what you're into. So when BTS gets hate in America, I don't understand it because they haven't seen everything. If you've seen it all and still don't like that, fine, whatever. It's not your music and you can move on with your life. But if you know not even half the story, you can't judge. Recently, Billie Eilish was doing an interview when BTS was brought up. She asked the audience, which I assume was just mainly Billie fans, if they would be okay with Billie working with BTS. And a lot of people cheered, but you can very audibly, it's not even like you really have to listen, but it's obvious that there's people booing and it's so sad because currently they are the only big Asian performers we have and they're being booed. Billie's music, if you didn't know, has been described as like anti-pop. It's the opposite of what pop music has become. It used to be very produced and a lot of tracks layered on each other. One song could have as many as 50 instruments in there, where then Billie came in creating music that literally has complete silence in certain parts. And this is relevant because obviously the Billie fans are not going to enjoy classic pop music or the new BTS sound, which makes me sad. Because if you don't like it, then you have to know that BTS is capable of making very face melting music too. Billie was laughing. It was like a nervous laugh, as I would be too. She was in awe of how rude people were being about this, and she felt like they needed to be quiet. She told the audience to stop being rude and was saying that everyone was being mean. She continued to defend BTS by saying that BTS has said some very nice things about her, and I think BTS are big fans of Billie. I could totally see Billie maybe on one of their solo mixtapes, but seeing this reaction might actually discourage Billie from doing anything. Some artists use moments like this to gauge interest. If the reaction is a very, very strong yes, I think a collab may have already have happened. It hurts me that this was a reaction at all. It's not like the boys themselves are toxic or problematic people. I don't see why anyone would be harshly against it, even if it's not their type of music, which obviously BTS and Billie make different types of music. So this was heartbreaking to hear, but I'm definitely glad that Billie defended BTS and had such nice things to say about them because BTS surely loves her and it would be heartbreaking to see yet another celebrity who BTS loves publicly bash them, which I think has happened before. So after seeing this, I'm going to have to join Billie and her fandom. I've obviously heard her music before and I will be streaming more now because she supports Asians. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are. Leave it in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'm featuring this comment right here. Thank you so much for your comments. And as always, I do have a Patreon if you want to go over there and check that out. I have a lot of videos over there that I can't really post on here. This is due to copyright or getting taken down, so I do keep it over there on my Patreon. You can get videos over there like music video reactions, performance reactions, ship reactions. You can also recommend things you like to see over there. Currently, we have over 400 videos that are already up on there that you can get the moment you sign up, as well as I do send out postcards, photo cards, and all that over there, and we do interact with each other so much as well. All of that will be linked in the top of the description down below. With that said, there's also a video over there that kind of goes over how you can support this channel even more if you would like to do that. That video is on the front page to check it out. With that said, there's two videos that will appear up on screen at the end of this video. So click on one of those and I'll see you over there. Bye.